Good morning, everyone. My name is Researcher Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-207, Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures SCP-207 is to be stored in a waterproof locking metal container measuring 1 by 0.5 by 0.5 meter. The key is to be issued to the current head researcher of site biocontainment area. SCP-207 is to be retained inside this area at all times, and all personnel entering the area should be checked for any food or drink items, in addition to any other searches required. Any staff seat ingesting SCP-207-1 are to be retained for future study with all Foundation clearance levels removed. All vending machines in sight are only to dispense clear carbonated beverages. Any variation from transparent is to be investigated immediately. Description SCP-207 refers to a crate containing 24 Coca-Cola brand cola drinks. The bottles are designated SCP-207-A through to X. SCP-207-B is currently the active bottle for testing. No other bottles are to be opened without authorization from two level 4 researchers. All bottles have been clearly labeled to aid identification. The liquid held inside these has been confirmed to be identical across all of SCP-207 and should not be ingested outside of supervised testing. The liquid has been classified as SCP-207-1 and is to be treated as a class 2 chemical hazard. SCP-207-1 does not appear to alter with age. However, the active testing bottle should have its protective cover kept on outside of removing liquid for testing. Mass spectroscopy and chemical tests have shown higher than usual concentrations of caffeine and sugars, both natural and artificial, along with the practical effect of this is when a subject drinks SCP-207-1, they will effectively no longer require sleep or rest, nor attempt to sleep or rest. This effect is not lessened by any soporific or medication yet tested on test subjects. However, only a quantity larger than 5 milliliters will cause this effect. The reason for this boundary existing has not been found, although it is hypothesized by Dr. that as such, unless authorized by two level 3 researchers, only 5 milliliters of SCP-207-1 is to be used for testing. Amounts higher than this have shown no difference in effect, with the exception of the subject SCP-207 was recovered from. See addendum. In addition to removing the need for rest, SCP-207-1 also causes an increase in motor reaction and psychological functions. The increase is linear in progression, with an estimated 50% increase measured by standard medical protocols plus or minus 5% every 6 hours. The practical application of ingestion is that the subject is able to think, react, and move faster than others who have not ingested SCP-207-1. Mental proficiencies show the IQ of the subject to rise in line with other increases. However, SCP-207-1 does not alter the body of affected subjects. Physiology remains unchanged, and as such, can rarely support the increase in activity. No subjects have lasted longer than 48 hours during testing, with the cause of death varying from massive internal organ failure to exsanguination due to major artery ruptures. Subjects also begin to show stress after roughly 24 hours, usually making each movement extremely carefully in order to avoid accidents. Tests SCP-207 Alpha and Rho have shown that after approximately 24 hours, the increases caused by SCP-207-1 means subjects can easily underestimate their speed. Most specifically, in test SCP-207 Rho, the subject was able to escape the containment area despite a 5 meter wall. However, this caused the subject's internal bone structure to Addendum SCP-207 was recovered from college after reports of student 
moving from failing grades in all areas, including physical sports, to top percentile marks, and record-breaking performances in physical areas. Agent embedded in the local police force, brought in for interview. Subject revealed the existence of SCP-207 during the interview. However, escape attempt while Class A amnesiacs were being administered resulted in the subject violently cause of death, organ failure due to massive internal hemorrhage. As SCP-207-A was empty on recovery, it is believed ingesting a full bottle. SCP-207 recovered from subject's home. SCP-207-A already empty. Reported to local police force as missing person. No further cause for surveillance of college at this time. Okay, this was a short lecture today, but I'm going to stop here. Thank you all for listening, and you were all dismissed. Goodbye. I would like to give a special thank you to André Bichert, Desmond Haskins, and Getzeberry. Thank you all very much for your support. It's greatly appreciated. If you would like a special thank you at the end of each of my videos, and some other cool stuff as well, go to patreon.com forward slash thevolgan. Thank you.